In this film, we'll see a demonstration model of the thermal wind. Again, water will stand in for the atmospheric air. I've set this tank of cold water rotating slowly on this turntable and given it a few minutes to settle down to a steady rotation. Now I'm going to warm it from the center by adding hot water to this tank in the middle. The hot tank heats the cold water here near the center and creates a horizontal difference in temperature in this outer part of the tank, similar to the temperature difference we saw in the film about fronts. But this time we have the tank rotating to simulate the rotation of the earth. And because the tank is circular, the water can move freely in the direction along the front. Now I'm going to add some ink to the water so that we can see the movement. I'm going to add the ink roughly in line with this green mark on the side of the tank. After a while we can see that the column of ink has sheared. The warmer water from the centre began to move outwards, overrunning the colder water, but this time, because of the rotation, it was turned to its right by the Coriolis effect. So now it's flowing this way relative to the tank. The cooler water, meanwhile, began to move inwards, undercutting the warm water. But it was turned to its right by the Coriolis effect, so now it's flowing this way relative to the tank. 